Well, I'm back. And I'm not sure how well this is going. So I'll put my glasses on. Hmm. Makes me look very clever, doesn't it? Um, I was just going to spend a bit of time talking to you about some reading you could be doing. Because I've already had a couple of emails from um, kids concerned that they might be reading more. And so I thought I'd start with... Uh, some strange choices, some interesting classic children's fiction that some of you may or may not have read. Because it's easy to go straight to the Michael Moore Pergos uh, and the stuff like that. But uh, I'm going to show you some old things that I remember when I was a kid and my sisters read as well. So this isn't going to be entirely male orientated. Number one. Da -da. Charlotte's Web. Okay, it's a really lovely book. All right, it's all about talking animals, anthropomorphism. Um, girls and boys, you'll like this one. Okay, it's a long, 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 long time ago since I read it. I can barely remember what happened in it, apart from it's about a spider in a barn and all the animals talk to it and it talks to it. It's just beautiful, honestly, you'll love it. Um, give it a go, you never know. Um, Secondly, this is a real classic and well worth reading. Stick off the dump. Okay, can you see that? Uh, I remember reading this when I was about nine, from eight, I don't know, no, no, but I was quite a good reader at a young age. Um, it's really funny. It's just a really nice book. Very old fashioned. See, what I think you need to do sometimes is sometimes we think that we're doing kids a favour somehow by trying to get onto their level but we can't because we're adults and you're not you're like kids so um it's much more honest just to say uh this is a children's book and uh it does what we want it to do not what you want it to do because our job as educators is to kind of give you a guide give you a steer um your mums and dads have probably read this so talk to them about it it's lovely it's enchanting my favourite books are enchanting. They take you out of this world and into another world. Here's one. Uh, it'll make you cry. Okay? Watership down. It's amazing. Okay, you just have to read it. Again, a, a bit more of this anthropomorphism, talking rabbits. But there's nothing wrong with that. If you've actually got a rabbit, and I used to have a rabbit, then uh, you kind of want it to talk. And you imagine it talks, and then you end up talking to it. Um, apart from the rabbits we once had that... Uh, that were eaten by maggots. And that was, I wouldn't have wanted them to talk to us, to be honest with you. They'd have told us off. And they'd have said, why did you let us get eaten by maggots? Um, here's one. The Borrowers. Now, some of you will have seen the TV series. I can't remember if it was a film or not. Um, what a great book. About tiny little people. Okay? Tiny little people. If I had a copy of Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, I'd, uh, I'd show you that. When I was... Not much younger than you. I read Peter Pan. Actually, I was a lot younger than you. But anyway, I read Peter Pan. And uh, in the original version of Peter Pan, he has a coat of leaves. Um, and I remember um, the idea was, was that you knew Peter Pan had been because uh, he left these leaves on the floor when he came. And for some strange reason, I don't know how it happened, but I found a leaf on my bedroom floor. And for, for weeks after, I, I was convinced Peter Pan was going to turn up to my room and he didn't I felt betrayed by Peter Pan to be honest with you if I'd have seen him after that I'd have swatted him with a tennis racket brought him down to the ground um, here's one I think I've got in another clip which I'm going to try and splice together The War of the Worlds I've um, recently reread this it's just a cracking book um, a real ace adventure uh, we're invaded by aliens completely different to the film by the way and loads better um for those of you who fancy a bit of a challenge, well worth it. Uh, love that book. And then this one, which I've just finished reading, which might be a bit of a challenge for you, to be honest with you. But if you're like a super reader and you really fancy getting into something strange, try this. It's the Day of the Triffids. Um, I loved it. I just thought it was the best thing ever. So, um, so oh, if you like sci-fi, but again, it's quite pertinent because it's all about when these alien things land and um or they may not be aliens they may be man-made and um it's a sort of post-apocalyptic thing and i do like my post-apocalyptic literature 
give it a try you never know um, so they're my recommendations for today I will carry on making them um, and now maybe if I get my video editing software correct um, we're going to go off to the graveyard because we're all meant to be sort of isolated but actually do you know what the best place to go for a walk um, and actually manage to avoid people is the graveyard because they tend not to rise up out of their graves and grab you by the ankle um, and uh, if they have got anything uh, you're not going to catch it because they've already died of it uh, and it's too late isn't it so uh, but they're really interesting places so watch the next video and you'll work out why and it'll give you lots of ideas to be creative okay use your creative minds children Okay, see you in a bit.